Alright folks, here's the stop number two. Uh, Brother Bill's gonna take me into this restaurant here. Tell yep. everybody about it here. So what we have here behind us is Hayes County Barbecue, uh, owned by Michael and Ensignet Hernandez, uh, pitmaster Jesse Miranda, who I hope is still on site. Uh, they've been here for a number of years. They do a really good job. So let's go find out. All right, we're trying the famous pork chop. How do you describe this thing? It's a, uh, it's we we smoke it. It's off the off the pork line. It's a whole pork line we smoke. Uh, we smoke for an average about four to five hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, just slow. We slow. don't have any temperature gauges in our pits. You know? So is it direct, direct, direct embers? No, it's uh, it's indirect. Yeah, okay. Indirect, yes, sir. Wow. Super moist, nicely smoked, yep. salty, very good. I told you. Wow. Daddy don't play. <laughs> Going in right here. That's yeah. where I, I yeah. first got to. Ain't yeah. wrong with that. So look at that. Ooh. This is the crazy, crazy good part. Crazy look at good. This. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at that crazy bark. Texas style post oak bark. Salt and pepper. Yes, sir. Salt and pepper. SMP. Yep. Very, very traditional Texas style. Like the. Uh, okay, so that's, this has got the uh, lean and the fatty both together. Yes, sir. All right. Super delicious. Moist, tender, smoky, not overdone. The great bark. If you like a kind of a dry bark, it's really good. Delicious. <laughs> Super I'm delicious. Are you flat now? Yep. Also very tender. Good stuff. We also have our side mac and cheese. We have a twice baked, you know, traditional uh, pickles, onions, and then our pork ribs right there. Pork okay. ribs. Tremendous pork ribs. Do a good job on those. All right. Grab one. I grab one. You got salt it. Pepper, That's where we're going next, nothing, baby. You ready? Fancy okay, here we go. All right. Let's toast. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you. <laughs> All right. You bite first and tell me how it tastes like. Right, let's find out. That is a perfect cook. It didn't slide off the bone, but it's still got a nice pull to it, right? Nice and tender. Really good seasoning. Lots of black pepper. That's hallmark of Texas barbecue. Good smoke level. Look at that. Nice and juicy. And here's something that I appreciate. Spares. Yeah, who's right? that? You have, you have, you have the... Yeah, you, you have your rib tip in there, so we got the chine bones and all, right? So a lot of people serve the St. Louis cut, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Meat on a stick. Meat on a Never stick. Never go wrong. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. It doesn't need anything. The only thing this needs is it's super delicious, tender. Just a hint of sweetness on it. Moist. You know, great bark and great flavor, all right? Good. Reminds me of a good old Texas rib. Okay, let's try the sausage here. Right, here we go. Sausage. Okay, sausage. All right, good snap on the casing. I just heard it. You just heard right. a snap on the casing. It's talking to me. All right, eat me. Eat me, eat me. Okay, I'll eat you. Yeah. All right, this is the signature jalapeno cheese. Sausage here. Very good sausage. Very good jalapeno flavor. A lot of cheese. That cheese is very pronounced in that link. There's quite a bit of cheese in there. It is... Uh, very cheesy, very pronounced jalapeno flavor, very tightly ground okay. and put into the case. Let me try the uh, hatch uh, chili mac and cheese also. Mm -hmm. Hatch chili, very good. Yep, very good. That is the twice baked potato salad. Twice baked potato salad. Correct. Also very good. Right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh, Let's try the baby back here. Pick this piece up, pick this piece. Yep. Baby back right there. from the uh, rib itself. Right here. All right. Uh, Look at that bar. Here, yeah. Nothing. Super tender. Is it dry brine? It has to be, right? There's no other explanation. Yeah, a rib doesn't taste like this when you buy it. So they put a few tricks into it, including brining, cooking it carefully. Very, very moist. Really, really good. Maybe back. Rib. Wow. Very good. Wow. Very good. Solid. I don't know, maybe the best pork chop I've eaten in a long time. Uh, really? Yep. I think so. Yep. I would tend to agree with you. This is one of my favorite pork chops in the state of Texas. Yeah. I have a top three, all right? Uh -huh. yeah. For lack of a better term, and I won't tell you who's first, second, or third, mm -hmm. yeah. but Ernest Cervantes, mm -hmm. right? 
right here at Hayes County Barbecue and Kreitz Market in Lockhart. Those are my favorite pork chops in the state. Cool. We're trying to decide if you dry brine or you wet brine. We don't brine it off. No, nothing at all. No brine. Season brine. All the but how does the salt penetrate to the middle if you don't brine it? Unless you, 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 you I'm a competitor, it, so. A, well, I compete too. Yeah, so I, 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 I inject. Too. Yeah, I, I inject my. We pork. don't inject. I've never injected. Um, uh, we don't even inject this. We don't brine it. It's just salt, pepper. So once you pop it off the package, salt, pepper it. Straight to the pit. Um, there's a trick to it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can't tell you, gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're getting the uh, 20 cent tour here. Very unique pits, right? These are known as what? Uh, kind of offset ish. Yeah, these are direct. offset pits. These are our pits right now. Two gauge, our fire's going this side. We just pulled everything off right now. We're fixing to reload here in a yeah. minute. No, it's absolutely. indirect. Indirect, indirect uh, offset? Yeah, it's indirect. It's, a, it's like a pit brick. It's kind of like a brick pit, but without the brick, yeah, right? Yeah. Kind of like, okay. So, un uninsulated, right? Okay, straight, straight fire, right, straight, right through. You, you custom build it yourself? Uh, we, Michael, which Michael Hernandez is the owner. Uh, he had it custom built. Okay. These are to his specs, what he wants. No insulation and no straight insulation, through. No insulation, no nothing. Are you guys the only ones doing this? This style hmm? of metal yeah, pit? No, there's a couple. Counter, of counter counterweight, yeah. counterweight. There's a couple of people here. Yeah, I feel that. Does it feel good? Not too heavy, right? No. So you don't have to have biceps to... I do have, I do have a female apprentice right now. Not Pretty cool, man. I told you. I, I, I gotta come here and apprentice under him and do a 24-hour under Jesse, man. Yeah. Then he'll chain you a print table and you'll never leave. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. I'll do about right here. Okay. And then um, what I'm doing is I'm doing it's five rows. I'm rotating like this. There you go, so, yeah. So I go from back, back to front. We rotate them. I rotate them every four hours. Every okay. three or four hours. Rotate, yeah. rotate, rotate. And I do smoke my brisket the inside out. Okay. The inside up. Yeah. And then I flip them. Yeah. Fat side up. 24 hours. Beautiful, okay. man. We're on my five. And we took off. But we, we're so busy that we're, I had all three pits running. We just took them off. Okay. And I'm fixing load all three pits. Yeah. Well, those are those yeah. still hot over there. Oh, yeah. Those are hot. <laughs> those are hot. Yeah. And I'm saying it's not even summer yet. So when yeah. it's summer, it's about 148. Yeah. All these pits are running this morning. We got this side, which is our cooking. We, we, I use this one specifically because of the way it flows for our cooking pit. We got chickens in there right now, Roland. This is Aaron, Michael Aaron Hernandez. Who Aaron was the youngest. Pitmaster in Texas, uh, they make Texas monthly. Congratulations. You're too big, you don't want to play with me. <laughs> you can see where we have a fire right here. Oh, that's a lot of fire, man. Woo! Is that the normal amount of wood? That's a lot of wood, man. That's a lot of wood. And this is Dude's his favorite pit. I heard that, Jesse. So we got some biscuit down there. Biscuit down there, keeping warm here. Texas Hall, big Texas Hall. We have an event center, pool bar back there. So you age your wood here for what a year? Yeah. One year old pork soap, right? Pork soap. Yes, you like like a year and kind of like get it down oh, yes, about twelve percent, fourteen percent moisture. Yes, sir. You you cut it yourself? Or you had somebody cut it? We have it split. Right? We still just we had some big pieces that we split. That is a ginormous wood pile right here. Very nice meeting you, sir. Jesse, very nice pleasure all mine. Yes, you have a fantastic place. Yes, you and too. Thank just you. great food. Yes. Yeah. We'll talk and, soon. You know, Cook them in the heart, you know. You, 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 oh, yeah. you don't be a stranger. Come down anytime. Uh, I'll, I'll come hang with you, and you can show me how to run one of these things, man. I, I, I've never used a pit like that before. I'm gonna add it to my, you know, my bucket yeah, list.